clips to come down. Right guys, welcome to today's 12 minute at home workout, anywhere, anytime workout. As the title suggests, we can do it anywhere. All we need is a bit of space and our bodies. It's body weight resistance exercises. It's full body, so great for the arms, excellent for the legs, good for the core. And for this one as well, guys, three ways to add a bit of fun into it. Number one, get some tunes going. Get a speaker, whatever, put on some of your favorite tunes, dance tunes, and get the energy up. Number two, use the workout as a reward system. So if we're doing it in the morning time, then reward ourselves with a cup of coffee, with a morning cup of coffee after. Uh, don't let ourselves have it before the 12 minutes are up. And number three, get an accountability partner, okay? So it can be a family member, it can be a friend, whatever that may be. If it's a friend who's somewhere else, text each other before you're doing it, text each other after, and hold each other accountable, making sure that you're getting the session in. Right guys, let's get going. So exercise number one, is body weight squat, touching the floor, we're going to go for 40 seconds, 3, 2, 1, and go. Squat down, touch the floor right, squat down, touch the floor left, alternating right to left. As we're going down in the squat guys, imagine that there's a wall in front of us, so we're not bending over too far in front with the hip, okay? Coming up to 20 seconds, halfway there. Make sure the tempo is going, make sure we're working hard for the 40 seconds, and then we can break completely for the 20 seconds in between each one. Last five, three, two, one, and break. Number two, guys, we're going for body weight push up. With the body weight push up, we can use it with our knees on the floor, we can use it with our knees off the floor. I'm going to do the first 20 seconds, knees on the floor, second 20 seconds knees off the floor, making it that little bit more difficult. 20 seconds, and go, chest to the floor, keep the elbows tucked into the side. Keep breathing all the way through the exercise as well, guys. Exhale as we push up. And take the second 20 seconds. Knees off the floor, chest down, push back. Again, we can work up to this progression, guys. If we're not at it right away, then that's totally fine. It's up to aim for, it's a goal to aim for. Last one, and break. We got two exercises down, we got 10 more to go. <coughs> Exercise number three is a forward lunge hold. Okay, this one is a toughie. This one is a damn toughie. <coughs> so brace yourself. Going in three seconds, two, one, and go. So get into a forward lunge position. Oh, mine's good for balance as well, guys. Make sure the knee is tracking the front foot. Get the back knee then about an inch off the floor and hold it for 40 seconds. It's a really, really good one for balance as well, guys. If at any stage during this that you have to stand up, that you're really feeling the burn, make it as short as possible. So the idea with this workout with the 12 minutes is that we're working hard for the 40 seconds, breaking completely then for the 20 seconds. We've got 10 seconds left. Whew. We got five seconds. Three, two, one, break. And we want to our fourth exercise. For this one, we're going to do the same drill, but we're going to switch side. We want on the right side. Once again, making sure we're standing up tall, standing up straight, and that front knee is tracking the front foot. Going in three seconds, two, one, and go. Again, guys, focusing on the balance of it. This is a really good stability drill. We're going to be feeling it, really feeling it on the, on the legs. It's an excellent one for toning up the legs. Keep working, keep working, keep working. Again, if we have to take a break, make it as short as possible. We want to be working as hard as we can for those 40 seconds. A break comes then in the 20 seconds between each one. <coughs> We're nearly there, guys. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. We've got 10 seconds left. All the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. Five seconds. Three, two, one and switch. So that's four down, we're a third of the way through already. And that's just four minutes gone. 
We're at exercise number five now. This next one is a hollow hold. With the hollow hold, we're basing the floor, locking the legs out in front, locking the hands, the elbows out the back, going in three seconds, two, one, and go. So we're holding with the legs in the air, with the hands in the air, and then we're going to feel a burn right here, the core working really, really hard. This one looks easy, but it's not all easy. It's really tough, you guys. We've got 15 seconds down. Important to keep breathing through these exercises as well, guys. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing. We hold our breath. We're going to get tired a lot easier. 15 seconds left, guys. All the way to the end. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Keep working that core, keep working it, keep working it, keep working it. We got five seconds left. We got three, two, one, and switch. So that's five down now. Five down, we got seven to go. Okay, so five minutes down, seven minutes left. As I said, 12 minutes in total, working hard for the 40 seconds, breaking completely for the 20 seconds. Going on over to number six is star reaches. So starting in the plank position again. 40 seconds, go. So plank position, straight back, tight core, reaching up to the ceiling with our right hand, reaching up with our left hand. Important thing to watch out for here, guys, not to let the hips drop, or not to bring the hips too high to the ceiling. You want a straight line from head to toe. Halfway there, keep alternating from one side to the other. Again, the object of this movement, guys, is not speed, but about control. We got five seconds left. Three, two, one, and break. So that's six down. We're halfway there already. Six down, six to go. 12 minutes total is all we're doing. Now, number seven, high knee marches. Okay? So this one we're going from standing position. Again, we're getting the heart rate moving up a little bit with this one. So opposite hand and leg thing, two, one, and go. Marching with the legs, driving them up, getting the knees as high as we can, using the hands as well to get momentum, marching on the spot. Once we get the movement off, adding a bit of speed into it. So then we're getting the heart rate going as well. And we're halfway there, guys, 20 seconds left. 15 seconds. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep going, keep going, 10 seconds. Drive them up, drive them up, drive them up, keep the core tight, five seconds. Three, two, one, and switch. Seven down, five to go. Exercise number eight is our goose step. So this is a cool one, really good one for the hamstrings, for the backs of the legs this time, okay? So you can do this standing, standing tall, standing tall, standing straight. Going in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Standing straight, locking the elbow out, or locking the leg out, get as high as we can. Alternating between each side. Also a really good one for balance, this one, guys. So keeping the body nice and straight, nice and tall. Excellent, we're going to feel it in the backs of the legs. We got 12 seconds to go. Set yourself up right in between each rep as well. Alternating between right and left. Three, two, one, and switch. We got eight down, four to go. 66% of the way there. Two thirds of the way gone. Exercise number nine now is our leg raises. So again, we're returning to the floor. And again, this is a real hard one on our core, on our abs. It's going to work them really, really hard. So going in three seconds, two, one, and go. Locking the legs out, raising the legs up high. Keeping the core tight, so think about sucking the belly button into the spine. <coughs> There's a tendency here, guys, to bend the knees as we go, okay, and kick them up. That's the easy way out. Keep the knees locked out. Keep the legs locked out. Add some complexity into it, and really keep that core working. If we have to in any state, if we have to hold, then that's fine. Keep keep moving, don't let the legs drop. Don't rest with the legs, we've just got 10 seconds left. All it is is 40 seconds work, 20 seconds of a break. Five seconds, three, two, one, and break. Woo, nine down, three more to go now. 
Exercise number 10 is a side plank, okay? With the side plank, we're on the floor again. We start off with our left side. So you can get down into our left forearm. Going now in five seconds. Three, two, one. So left forearm, straighten the body, get the knees off the floor. We're gonna straight line from our head to our toe and reach up with our right hand. So we're pushing our left hand, pushing our left elbow into the floor and reaching high as we can. Careful here not to let the hips drop. We want to keep a straight line from our head right down to our toe. And we're really going to feel it on the left side here. This is a burner now. We've got 15 seconds to go. Keep breathing as well, guys. Breathing all the way through. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Push to finish. Five, three, two, one, and switch. We're going to do the same exercise again, guys. We're going to switch sides. We're going from the left side over to the right side, okay? So right side down, right forearm down. Straighten out the legs. Push back up again through the elbow and through the palm of the hand. Three, two, one, and go. So pushing up, pushing up, getting those hips up. Reaching up high with the left hand. Careful again, not to let the hips drop. Keep the hips as high as we can. Pushing in the elbow, right elbow, pushing in with the right hand. Again, guys, it's a real burner on the inside. It's a toughie. We got 20 seconds left. Keep breathing, keep breathing, keep breathing for 15 seconds. Now, all the way to the end. We got 10 seconds to go, nearly there. Pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, working hard for 40 seconds. Bring it for 20 seconds. Three, two, one and reach. So that's 11 down. One last one to go. Last exercise, best exercise. Last one is our boxing jab. Okay, so this one, really good one for the heart rate. So finish strong. Okay, it's an easy, accessible one as well. So everyone can do it. Going again in five seconds. Three, two, one. So we're boxing jab, shadow boxing, moving the hands, moving the feet as fast as we can. Get the legs moving, landing on the balls of the feet. Jab with the left, jab with the right, switching over and back. Imagine there's someone in front of you that you don't like, and you're smacking them as fast as you can. You keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. 20 seconds left. Again, this last one is just 40 seconds, so make sure you're moving as fast as you can for the 40 seconds. Go as hard as you can for 40 seconds. 10 seconds left. Oh, all the way to the end, all the way, all the way, all the way. Five seconds. Three, two, one and break. Boom, just like that. 12 minutes, anytime, anywhere workout. Want to add a bit of difficulty into it? Take a break now for two minutes and go in for a second round. As we said at the start, great for the arms, the legs, the core. Add a bit of fun to it. Tunes is a very good one. Use it as a reward system, number two. If you're doing it in the morning, have it after the coffee, or if you're doing it in the evening, don't let yourself watch TV until you get it done. And number three, get an accountability partner. Right guys, enjoy, let us know how you get on.